Since terminal alkynes have a pK of approximately 25, it is possible to alkylate using a sequence of deprotonation and alkylation. This results in a chain elongated internal alkyne product. A strong base such as sodium amide is used to deprotonate the weakly acidic terminal alkyne and send the equilibrium completely to the conjugate base. The nucleophilic acetylide anion is then treated with a primary or secondary alkyl halide which affects an SN2 reaction and the chain extended alkyne is formed. Terminal alkynes have a pK of approximately 25, so a very powerful base is needed to ensure complete deprotonation. Sodium amide is a good choice since its conjugate acid has a pK of 38, thereby ensuring the acetylide anion is formed completely. When formed, an alkyl halide is added to react with the nucleophilic anion. Since this is an SN2 reaction, the electrophile is limited to being either primary or secondary. As the system becomes more crowded, the E2 process will compete with the desired carbon-carbon bond forming pathway. The resultant substitution product is then a chain elongated internal alkyne.